Hi, good morning to each and everyone. I, uh, I am Shirley Barcoma. My topic is all about supply chain and process. So the introduction, so the objectives to monitor and relate productions, distributions, and shipment of products and services. So this can be done by a companies with a very and tight hold over internal inventories, production, distributions, internal app productions, and sales. And it is uses different strategies and approaches to view the entire chain and work efficiently at each and every step involved in the chain. And then as you can see, so it is this is the uh, management of flow of product of services. So which begin from the origin of the products and ends at the products consumption. And it also comprises movement and storage of raw materials that are evolved in work in progress, inventory, and full, uh, fully furnished goods. The next, so let's talk about the components of the supply chain. So here are the, uh, in my screen display. So this is the flow of the supply chain management. So the supply, the manufacturing, distribution, and warehousing, retail, and consumer. So here are the supply chain management flow. The, then next, so here are the process flow. So this side demonstrate the flow of material of information and money across the value of, of value chain and showcases of all the important steps in SEM process. So the material flow, the information flow, and the money flow. So when we say mon, mat, uh, material flow, so material flow through the various warehouses among distributors, dealers, and retailers. And the main challenges is in ensuring that the material flows as the inventory quickly without any stoppage uh, through different points in the chain. And when we say information flow, so it comprises the request for the quotations, purchase order, and monthly schedules. So engineering changes request, so quality complaints and reports on supplier performance from customer side to the supplier. And last, the money flow. So on the basis of the invoice placed by the producers, so the clients examine the order for the correctness. If the claims are correct, so money flows from the clients through the prospect, uh, pr respective producers. Then next, so let's talk about the SEM advantages. So first is to develop better customers relationship and services. And next, Chef to creates better delivery mechanism for products and services in demand with minimum delay. And next, to improvise productivity and business functions. And next, minimizes warehouse and transportation costs, minimizes direct and indirect costs, and next, assists in achieving shipping of right products to the right place at the right time. And last, enhances inventory management, supporting the successful execution of just-in-time stock models. Then next, let's talk about the implementation steps. So the project management and communications uh, uh, flow. So the concept phase, so under the concept phase, meron tayong accessing supply chain opportunities and then developing an SEM vision. And then we have the version phase. So under Punyan is developing an SEM strategy. So creating the optimum uh, SEM organization structure and establish the SEM information and communication network. And last but not the least, the execution phase. So under po ng execution phase, the translating the SEM strategy into actions. Then next, let's talk about the SEM goals. So cost efficient and cheap products are necessary. So, but the supply chain manager need to concentrate on value creation for their customers. 
and then to leverage inventory as a shared resources and utilize distribute, uh, distributed order management technology to complete orders from the optimal node in supply chain. And next, to maximize resources productivity, construct standardized processes, remove duplicate uh, efforts, and minimize and, uh, inventory levels. And next, increase expectations of clients for higher product. So the variety, customized goods, of season, uh, season availability of inventory and rapid fulfillment should be much. And last, the mini, uh, minim, minimization of supply chain expenses is very essential. Then next, let's talk about the supply chain management process. So these are the six uh, important in uh, steps in involved in supply chain management. So each of these steps have been discussed separate, uh, separately in later slides. So, so six daw, pero dito uh, five lang. So the plan, the sources, the execute, the delivery, and the return. So let's talk about the process plan. So planning is the strategic uh, part of the supply chain management. So the process to find out the best possible uh, blueprint of how to fulfill the end uh, requirement. So the SEM money, uh, manager should identify a list of uh, key to parameters as I mentioned in this slide. So under the process plan, so maritime plant location, plant size, warehouse designing plan, so the delivery models, the IT solutions, and the transportation cost modeling. Then next, let's talk about the process source. So as this uh, st uh, stage of supply chain management, so the uh, emphasizes is the uncertain, the most reliable of the supplier for raw materials. So that, uh, so that the production process would never jeopardize. So a uh, capable supplier is one thing, but there should be a tangible system in place for the continuous development of the supplier, which would uh, boost their efficient as well. Then next, let's talk about the process execute. So this is the stage where well-designed processes are implemented so that the perceivable shift is given to existing plants in the form of manufactured products, which are ready to re uh, testing, packaging, and delivery. Then next, let's talk about the process delivery. So the manager have a task of hand to deliver the product or the service in the right quality, at the right place and the right time. So by employing suitable carriers, so su supply chain managers uh, should be fully equipped with modern IT. So tools to be keep a track on the following parameters. Then next, so let's talk about the decision phases. So strat strategy planning and operational are the three important steps of SEM decision process. So this is the summary slide and guidelines has been mentioned in the boxes, which may further help in writing the key points under each steps. So the first is the supply chain strategy. Sabi dito, the decision is to be made here is a long-term uh, predictions and evolves price of goods that are very expensive. So if it is goes wrong, it is a very important to study the market condition at this stage. And then next, yung, sa, yung ating supply chain planning. So supply chain planning should be done according to the demand and supply view. So in order to understand the customer demands, a market research and should be done the second thing is to consider is the awareness and the updated information about the competitors and strategies used by them to satisfy their customers' demands and requirements. And last but not the least is the supply chain operation. So the objectives behind this uh, decisional uh, phase is minimizing uncertainty and performance optimization. So starting from handling and customer order 
to supplying the customer with that product. So everything is included in this phase. Then next, let's talk about the strategic resources process. So these are the uh, these are the important uh, steps in the strategic uh, strategic resources process from your vendor. So each of these steps have been discussed in separate slides. So under the spend uh, category, uh, understanding the spend category, communication with new supplier, RFX, RFX requested or request. So buildings the strategy, supplier survey, and market a uh, supplier market assessment. And then let's talk about the understanding the spent category. So in this first stage, the uh, team needs to be done completely survey on the total expenditure. So the five major segments that are analyzed in the first stage are as follows. So the complete previous expenditure records and volumes. And next, expenditures divided by items and sub-items. And next, expenditures by divisions department or users and expenditures by suppliers and last future demand projections or budget and next let's talk about the supplier market assessment the, the second steps includes frequent uh, assessment of the supplier market for purchasing substitute suppliers to present in Quebec. and next a uh, through study of supplier marketplace so dynamic and current trend is done. And next, the major element of the key product, design issued cost. And next, along with it, it an, anal an analysis on the major supplies, uh, supplier sub-tire marketplace and examination for any risk or new opportunities are also important. And last, the, uh, the should cost analyst should supp uh, supplies a valuable tool that uh, drives minimizing of cost and regular progress efforts of the supplier. And next, the supplier survey. So the third step is developing a supplier analysis for both incumbent and potential substitute supply. So this analysis uh, assists in examining the skills and abilities of a supplier. And the data collected from the suppliers is used for verifying spend information that suppliers should have uh, from their uh, sales system. And the key factors to be lacked for the suppliers, so the feasibility, capability, maturity, and capacity. Then next, let's talk about the logistic and IT. So under niyan po yung ating transformation, uh, transportation medium, transportation challenges, and IT in SCN. So transportation medium chooses the right transportation medium as per your project. So requirements and highlight the reasons for choosing it because it has a direct impact on your freight cost. So meron tayong baya, air, truck, rail, ship, and electronic. So the planning and the forecasting, so budgeting forecasting, demand forecasting, sales forecasting, and production planning. So we have the common problems with SEM, so the poor delivery status information. So not knowing the order status, so dapat nalalaman natin kung ano ba yung status ng ating delivery. And then yung poor IT design, yan. So unreliable, so duplicate data security problems uh, too much or too little. And then syempre yung ating internal customer discrimination. So giving lower priority to internal customers than external customers. And number four, yung ating poor integrations. And last but not the least is elusive inventory cost. So accounting systems, so do not capture opportunities cost. And next, let's talk about the supply chain optimizations. So on the product flow and the demand signal. So the, the raw material and the component supplier and the customer. So the transportations, the sourcing procurement, the central manufacturing, distribution assembly and repair, and sales marketing and customer service, and syempre yung ating Consumer. Then next, 
let's talk about the supply chain optimizations so here are the products so the supplier the factory the distributor and the customer retailer so here are the supply chain optimizations of our product so that it's all for now thank you for uh, listening